Hello, my name is Gaurav and in this video, we'll see that how I have used chat GPT for the past few months. I'll share examples which can help full in testing and in automation. So let's see what it is and how it has helped me or not helped me. And I'll share some tips with you that uh, where it can be useful and where it cannot be useful. Some things uh, we should be careful about and uh, let's begin. So let's see what is chat GPT. So it's a chat bot which has artificial intelligence uh, into it and it got a lot of popularity within one month. It has 1 million users uh, after its launch in November. And then in January, if you see it, the number jump to 100 million users and there are so many apps that are coming uh, which are trained on this language models. And model that means some features would be free. Like if you're using the free version, you will get the language model, which is still 3.5 and the paid users will get GPT-4 model, right? And what it stands for, it's generative pre-trained uh, transformer. So let's see how intelligent it is. But uh, before showing you to that, let me uh, show you an, another chatbot that how uh, the chatbot which are existing, how they are not that much intelligence uh, based uh, compared to chat GPT. So I have opened this Dr. Lal Path Labs. It's just a lab by which you can get your radiology or blood test get done. So here they have a chatbot, right? So let me ask that what CBC, I just type CBC, which is a kind of test. So if you see, uh, it is not, it's giving some information which is not relevant to me, right? If I select their things, then only I'm getting various options, right? So I don't have a prescription and let me write something random. I say, right, okay. It's a good to know, right? Without, there is no context. What if I type wrong here? So let's see what it answers. Now it says that please accept my apologies without saying that I have not typed anything wrong or said that anything uh, wrong to that. But yeah, there are some set prompts which you will get every time. It has some intelligency, but not up to uh, the mark. Like, let me ask what are the blood tests available? So it is by haptic, like some answers it gives you in the right way. Like now it is, uh, it has understood that what I was asking that blood test available. So it is asking that whether I'm looking for in Delhi, right? So now it is saying that, so let's say I enter lipid because cholesterol comes generally under lipid profile, right? Now it is saying that I have to search. So it is giving some options and all, right? And let me ask that, get the previous test done, right? Which I wrote before maybe, but it did not understood. So it does not understand the context and it gives you answer like this, right? Now see how chat GPT works. So what you have to do if you have not yet created an account on chat GPT, you can just type chat GPT on Google and you will be taken to the first place. Right here, you can click on this sign up link and then using your Google account, like you can click on continue with Google and you will here you can enter your email ID and then you will land up on a prompt. Then you will land up on a prompt, which uh, looks like, which looks like this, right? And here you can start typing your question. So just to carry on the context, let me type CBC, which I was uh, uh, typing over there. Now it's not giving uh, relative information. I'll just type blood test, right? So now it is giving me two blood test. I would say combine both the previous questions, right? I don't want to know that what is blood test and what is CBC. I want to know that what it is uh, in the context. So it has given now both the questions and combined both of them, right? Now it is telling about that CBC, which it gave in the earlier. Now shifting to blood test, it has explained CBC as well. Now I will say hemogram different than previous, right? So if you do some uh, spelling mistake, then also it takes care of this. So now it is telling that what is hemogram and in context to CBC, 
Right. So it is explaining all the details. So let's uh, get back to how it has helped me in testing and automation. So this is uh, a good example. Now let me show you an example where it has helped me in testing. So I was testing uh, some page where I need to add some codes uh, to check it out whether the pin codes that relevant information was coming or not. Right. So I asked that for other than US, I need some pin code so I can try. So it gave me like this, right? And then I told that give this, right? I am not repeating my query, give this in a table form. Then it has converted this into a table, right? So that's a very good thing that, right? It understands the context and it converts the way you want the information. So I have used this pin code and that has really uh, helped me. Right. And recently I see that uh, some tests were running twice. I did some change. So it, if you see that it is giving me five reasons that why it could happen that you are running some Maven command and it's running twice. So, and I was able to find it out the reason uh, out of this, that why it has happened suddenly. And another example is like uh, somebody in my team was asking that how you can park your file is something where data is uh, stored in a different format instead of row, it is stored in the column format. So the question was that how they can uh, see that data in Power BI. So it has given a very good step. So how you can use this in testing, right? Many times new members uh, join your team and you need documentation for how to connect to SQL Server, what are the things and all right. So it can generate the uh, documentation for you where you can replace certain things, right? So where it is saying that account name, enter the name of your AD ADLS account. So here you can mention the your Azure Data Lake storage account number here, right? And mention the folder path and whatever the authentication method or privacy level. So now that person asked me that, okay, for one file, it's fine. How to do it for multiple files? So if you see here, I just wrote, what if there are multiple files, right? If, even if I type the same thing on Google, Google cannot relate to what I have asked before, right? But this chatbot is very intelligent that it understands that I want to, uh, multiple files are parquet files, right? And it understands that I am asking about this Power BI and the ADLS storage. So it has modified this answer and added something that there is an option called as combine and load, right? And sometimes this information might not be valid because this information is still September, 2021, right? Or there is a specific date uh, till which their model is trained. So if things have changed they, that they have already told, so you should be careful while uh, checking information here. So that is one point that, uh, that things might have changed over the year. So I have asked about, uh, since I have used SNG more than J units, so I was just asking that uh, what are the, uh, how this before and after works. So it has given very detailed and given one example also when people start learning generally, they try to print it to understand how and when before and after would be called. And even it is telling about some new features which are coming, right? J unit five, it is telling before each and after each. So that is very, useful in knowing that what are the new things uh, that are coming into, maybe you might need those features, right? So without even uh, doing explicitly going there and doing the research, what is new in uh, certain things, it is telling you, right? I have asked just about before and after and itself chat GPT is telling me about before each and after each, which is good for me uh, to know more details about it. So if you see that I have uh, then become casual asking chat GPT that what is, which one to use where. So it was telling about approaches. What is surefire? What is fail safe? Then I told that I'm asking about POM, which is used in automation. Then it got the context and it uh, changed the explanation accordingly and gave me even that where and what need to be placed, right? Sometimes in Stack Overflow, you will find answers where you will find only certain portion, right? Uh, they will not give you full portion rights, but here you can get uh, the full of it. And uh, even the details explaining each and every option, right? Even if it is missing something, you ask that, okay, what is this? And then it explains, right? Here it is explaining that what is parallel, what is thread count, what is includes. Now this is a, another good example where it has explained that. I asked that how I can run test in parallel, right? There is a lot of in communities people ask. And I have mentioned I'm using JUnit, Selenium, Cucumber, and WebDriver is static, 
right so it has uh, given me the details that okay you set up a class and then it is telling that you can use thread local right by which each thread will get its own driver right and it has even created the web driver uh, factory for me right so one thing to notice that you should have uh, some idea about what you are asking or things about that so that uh, because if you uh, don't have any idea or things then sometimes you might not be able to link it out right so basic idea you should have that because otherwise uh, though even it explains the things uh, but i have felt that that you should have the basic idea on what kind of answers it is giving so that you can uh, relate to it even though it explains in very much detail if you see here it has given even the dependency that what to add but then i should know that right there is a pom file that exists but you can keep on asking it's the same thing even in google right uh, nobody will explain you even from scratch unless you land up on a tutorial right so this way if you see that i am uh, still discussing as if there is a person sitting in front of me and it is giving answers and sometimes uh, it give a wrong answer as well right so yeah this is the full discussion about bringing uh, parallelism so see sometimes we have to use case insensitive xpath right it happens that you need and you will not uh, maybe uh, remember or learn this full syntax right so in such cases you can ask uh, chat gpt and then it gives you the answer and it gives in very much detail which you can simply there is an option called as copy code you can simply uh, copy this code and use it but yeah do try it right uh, many times there could be something wrong or your context is different that um, it might not work right but uh, it's giving some very good answers if you see here so now there is something called as a trx file which gets generated when we run some automation via visual studio code so i asked what it is and then i asked that give me a sample right i did not test that give me a sample file of trx right so it is saving my time right that it's by understanding the context i can i need not to uh, go to the search engines to check it out i am just continuing my conversation even if i have not given a right on right question right so it has given me a sample file so i have asked this question like many time people ask the career road map right it might not be right any time but it gives you certain ideas right it has given some designation that people can become test uh, lead then they can become manager they can become program manager they can become consultant so it gives you the idea right that and you can even if you ask the same question in a different way you might get a little bit uh, different answers so it has answers to such questions as well right so that you can maybe ask even better questions in the forum uh, other than this which you can uh, directly get here so recently if you see that uh, selenium is uh, dropping the support for uh, java 8 right then a question can come that right how you can make your uh, project upgrade to java 11 version right so it has given you that where you have to make the changes right but uh, apart from this you have to take precautions right you have to uh, check it out that after doing these changes if your suits are running fine or not right all that things it might not tell that why and what you want to do right so then simply changing this you might be able to upgrade but as a tester you have to uh, test all the rest of the things are working or not right then only merge your uh, pr into the main branch so it explains you the errors in a very nice way right i was trying this error that class path contains multiple sl4j provider right so sometimes you are using something for the first time you don't know then right uh so then i saw that okay uh in in some of the uh, repo this all three were present then it has told me that which one i can remove right it's saying that if you are using this right sl4j will use the implement that is first found in the class path so one of them can be removed right so it has clearly explained that uh, giving me the logical explanation also that why i should do that and you can even try this rest api errors that has helped you right 415 error was coming in one of the code which was written very long back so i was analyzing that what has happened then i asked that whether it is because of accept header 
right and it has given me various reasons that uh, what could be the possible causes and i was able to uh, debug that problem the reason for that So this was, I was working on a hackathon where I want that WhatsApp. I was trying to automate something on WhatsApp in an hackathon. So what was happening is that uh, the WhatsApp was not opening uh, from the homepage. It was getting stuck where I left it to the last time, right? So I asked this question and I got the direct code and I copied and I used it. And it worked really. It can even give you the payload of uh, the various APIs, right? If you see that I directly got the payload for updating the tester name in one of the test case uh, remotely, right? So it has given me even the curl command for that, uh, which is very good that, but yeah, it can be old. There could be an older version of uh, that API that it might be showing you. So I was working on something that testing that localization and then I want to know that, okay, when, what is, when we call in English in inches, what can be there in Canadian, right? So it has given me, then I asked that, uh, do we use dot like in inches, we use I and dot and how do write centimeters. So this kind of information, uh, which you generic information, which you need while testing, you can use chat GPT uh, for that. So similarly, like here, there is another example that I need the short forms from Monday to all days that how they are shown in a certain language. So it has given me the example, even the short forms, right? What I have asked for and the full days that is there. So sometimes you are stuck in deciding things that, okay, this is better or that is better or what features that is giving. So such kind of questions also uh, you can first task and then you can continue that how you can use that thing that you have decided for right and it gives you the details okay what all things you have to add and where you have to add which files you have to create so everything uh, it gives which is a very good thing so it's like a complete tutorial so if you see that if you get any selenium errors then you can just type on chat gpt and it can give you various answers that what could be the reason and it will suggest you some solutions uh, that can help you. So I was stuck with such a thing. So it told me and share even the code that like uh, by trying even various things that was not working, then it was a different prompt. So this is called as prompt that you type. There is a thing that is getting famous these days is prompt engineering that how can you type a better prompt so that you can get better answers uh, from chat GPT because sometimes uh, the information that it does not give you in the first prompt. If you ask the same question in a different prompt, you will get the answer. So that is also uh, an interesting thing that you can experiment with that, that how you can, because in Google also it happens, right? That how you are typing the query. So Google has even some courses called as power searching with Google. Similarly, I think um, there will be for chat GPT that would be coming so that how you can uh, and then you can use this for creating some fancy titles for your blog post. If you ask chat GPT that, okay, what is the future of chat GPT? Right, write it in a fancy way or uh, something like it has a future, write this in a fancy way, right? So if you ask uh, any question that, and this is the way you ask question. So it can give you uh, various kind of uh, things right and now it is using some English which at least I can't understand right using some jargons right so it has uh, written in a, now I can ask for a normal person to understand right so if you ask such thing it might write the same thing in a, a layman language so that anybody can understand see now it is uh, apologizing for that and now it will create something which is easy to understand compared to the previous text right so it is telling that how it is important and how it can convert and so this was a tricky example like where i was trying to replace a space but it was not getting replaced i tried various things i tried replace then replace all uh, then even uh, I tried running that code and it was giving a perfect answer that what it is, right? And you should be careful that you should not 
give your any production or project related codes here because they train their model on them and there was a leak related to samsung where maybe somebody might have pasted something and then it went into their database and it was even searchable right so try avoiding that and just paste some common codes which uh, cannot relate to any project or things like that for your understanding so i just paste a practice code over here to understand the replace and then i realized that uh, what it told me that that space is a special character right and you need to know the sky code of that then because it was very small thing and uh, it took some while to understand that and but yeah it was a good thing that i was in conversation with chat gpt and i would say that we both were able to solve it that okay now it has told that right the character is and then so so yeah it will help you but uh, as i said earlier that you also have you add to add your intelligence to sit with that right so that's why uh, people even say that chat gpt might not replace you but the people using the chat gpt might right because they are more skillful they can get the work done easily right i like the way i showed you that it can prepare a table for which maybe somebody might open excel and try uh, to use uh, and create that right so now finally we got that okay the character is nnbsp right so in that case it has given me the code that right you can simply use this right i need not to go to search engines as i am already telling you again and again so this was a very good example where it has uh, saved a lot of time for me and this is also one of the very um, good i would say and this make me use uh, chat gpt again and again if you ask i am asking if you see i am asking a very specific question that i want to delete all the folders whose name are like today's date right uh, today's date should not get deleted but whatever before 9th may they should get deleted so it has given me a very a command right now i am saying that uh, uh, that because my file was even having the time in it right i don't want any files which are with having time and time you know would be dynamic some files might get generated at 6 am some might get generated at 7 am right so then it has added that portion also into my command then i said that uh, it should not delete right uh, that any thing which is on today's date it should not delete so if you see this command it has added uh, the exception in it that anything which is greater than today so it has added the logic that right uh, which is having date around today uh, those should not get deleted right now uh, when i tried this command if it was not able to find the files to delete it it was failing then i said that okay uh, you make this command to not fail even if it is not able to delete then it gave me that how then i got uh, some error then it has added further things to it so it was really good that how i was able to optimize the thing so you have to try and optimize things it's not that the first thing might be the best answer that might work for you so do tell me in the chat that whether you would be using it or not and uh, for me it's a must go i have also tried for personal things i will share another video on that that how i have planned my various trips and came to know about things uh, not in the testing but otherwise also so i i have my thumbs up with chat gpt so if you have watched the video till here do subscribe to my channel and keep commenting thank you for watching